Hey yo, what's up gaming buddies? Thank you for joining me in today's video. And yes, this is not a gameplay video, but this video is about a simple fix. The simplest one which I have tried to make a Plague Tale Requiem game run in my PC. And I'm sure it will work for most of you. You know, I know that there are many people who are facing this issue, this challenge with this game where it's uh, either not running or uh, it's crashing. Me, personally, I was facing issue with this game uh, because uh, whenever I was playing this game, it was crashing after a 10, 15 or 20 minutes gameplay and it was giving me a lot of trouble. Now, for me, I tried a lot of hacks which were there, uh, already mentioned in in Google, but uh, none of them worked for me. The most common one was to get your files verified. And uh, I actually bought this game from Epic and uh, I tried to verify the files time and again. I restarted it. I updated my graphics card driver. I uh, uninstalled it and then reinstalled it. I uninstalled the game and then reinstalled it. So. Yeah, I lost a lot of time uh, in that because I had to uninstall the driver and then reinstall it and then uninstall the game and then reinstall it. And it gave me a lot of trouble for about a couple of days. I was trying to find a fix to this problem and uh, I couldn't find it. Uh, and eventually I was at the verge of giving up when I thought to try something different instead of... Uh, going by the books that is uh, mentioned over there in Google. And uh, what I did was the simplest fix. Now, uh, in my fix, and yes, this fixed my problem because as you can see, I played this game two times. I tested this game two times and both times I played this game for about half an hour or more than that. And this game ran like a hot knife through the butter. So, now the first fix or the first step of this fix is in the game itself. So I kept vSync off and it is disabled in my game. Again, uh, if you can see, the other option I have kept off or disabled is <laughs> NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Now I don't know why, uh, but I felt that this being enabled is causing this problem and I have disabled it. And then you can check most of my settings are at high, just the depth of field and the texture quality is ultra. Rest of the settings is high. And uh, yes, uh, this is the changes or these are the changes that I have made in the game settings. Now coming to the settings outside the game, that means uh, NVIDIA control panel. I just reopened it here. I will just open it here and show you. So the first option there is manage 3D settings and over here I have kept VSync off. So that is the uh, that is the change that I did outside uh, in my control panel in uh, NVIDIA settings basically. And apart from this, there is one more uh, setting that I have changed. Uh, I don't remember exactly. It's not here. I have to actually find it. But uh, you can just uh, check all the settings that I have kept here. Okay, so yeah, let me search it because I have changed or uh, I had to change the refresh rate of my in NVIDIA control panel as well. Yeah, here it is. Here it is, the refresh rate I have kept is 144 hertz in this option of NVIDIA. the screen resolution option. So 
because I have kept it 144 hertz uh, because uh, my computer or my monitor it uh, supports 144 hertz at max and that's what I have kept as a refresh rate and believe me after uh, making these changes in Nvidia control panel and in the game settings this game has been running truly amazing I have been enjoying it uh, for past hour or so and I actually liked playing this game and of course my issue which was there has been resolved so I hope your issue with this game gets resolved as well uh, using these settings if it does if the this video helps you out please mention that in the comments below and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and share it with your friends if they are facing the same issue I'll see you guys in the next gameplay video. Till then, goodbye, take care, and keep rocking, keep gaming.